we need to change the past. Women in mining are relevant. I was mostly asked by males, why don't you do catering or cleaning? And I told them, why should I do catering and cleaning when I can do what you are doing? Holautwe Mining Services is predominantly an engineering maintenance company. I started in 2014 with one employee, and right now we have 197 employees in Sibanye who are doing scaffold, engineering maintenance, construction, and civil works. We also supply the mines with skilled labor like artisans, uh, miners. My village is surrounded by more than five mining houses. We are kind of a hub of platinum mines. Sibanye is the main contributor to my community. I was working for Sibanye as an HR manager and um, since I'm the child of the soil, I decided why go far when I can start here. If you can show people that you can move from where you started to where you want to be, that is what I'm doing for my community as well. Even the guys who started by looking after the cattle are now working at the mine. We are developing them to be what they're supposed to be or who they want to be. We work in very, very harsh conditions because it wasn't easy for me to put women in our hardcore positions in the mine. I made sure that women are also represented in Holauze Mining Services. So my admin department is run by women. My operations manager, my business development manager, and my safety officer is also a woman. So we are doing our part when it comes to women in mining. And I'm also a woman. We have been deliberate in making sure that we bring women into our supply chain. We're pleased with the progress that she has made in her labor management business. And the fact that she's a former mine worker shows that her passion uh, has now been realized post-employment as an entrepreneur. And she's doing very well in that area because she does have relevant experience in mine recruitment. We employ everyone, we employ the locals. I make sure that my company is very diverse and I also focus predominantly on skills transfer for the minds to actually absorb them from us and making sure that the generations to come are skilled and equipped to take over. I'm impacting positively into South Africa at large, the economy of the country. Makes me feel phenomenal. I am where I am right now because of the community of Sibanye. Those women who sit at the plants, at the shafts, plant managers who gave me opportunities, VPs who actually said, often say, let's hold your hand and let's move you from being good to being great. They were very supportive. I've just acquired a five-year contract with Sibanye, which is fundamental, especially for a black woman who is local. Sibanye made me who I am today. I'm a proud product of Sibanye Stillwaters in Marikana. This is where I come from. This is where my umbilical cord fell. And I'm what I am today because of them. As Sibanye Stillwater, our vision is to create superior shared value for all our stakeholders. Local SMMEs, are part of our wider stakeholder groupings and our focus is ensuring that we include them in our supply chain as well as give them opportunities to grow and participate in other supply chains within our operating regions. We are pleased that this year we are 10 years old as we celebrate a decade of shared value. We want to highlight the impact that we have made to the people and the communities in and around our operations. We want to create opportunities where our local suppliers can be able to provide services that they are skilled at, that can enable them to grow. The Gege Group is but one example of the many companies that are included in our supply chain to provide essential services. 
He's providing landscaping services in and around our operations at Drifontaine. This business does hire local people and by getting value from Sibani, he's now able to extend that value to other people in and around this community. Not only will he create jobs, but he'll have the much needed skill that he can pass on to other smaller SMEs. My journey with Sibanya actually started with me envisioning myself working here. While I was still at Varsity, I used to travel past the mine quite a lot while I was doing my PCOM. Eventually, there was a tender that was advertised for the grass cutting and horticulture services. I then applied and prayed my socks off because at the time I knew nobody here. Fortunately for us, we got it. And that's how it started back in 2020. It's been a beautiful journey since. Since we started with Sibanya, our revenue has grown, geez, over 200%. It came with a lot of discipline here, yeah, with regards to handling finances and knowing what to do and having strategies for growth. We were an SMME once, so now we're officially a medium-sized enterprise. I think that would tell you the significance of the growth that we got from the contract that we had at Sibanya. And it has opened up a lot more opportunities with other mines and businesses. Small businesses give the opportunity for employment. If you look at Gega Group right now, we've got over 185 employees. We started out with 30, so the increase in the past two and a half years is quite significant and we are providing um, food and bread for families. It's something that I actually love. It's not a money-making scheme, rather um, something that I'm very passionate about. I like to see the fact that we're employing people, um, feeding families and providing a bit of change in some people's lives. I'm very passionate about being able to help and assist those that I need. So it is a purpose that is bigger than yourself, in my opinion, and that's what keeps me going. Sibanya Stillwater recognizes the fact that at some point, our operations will cease to exist, which is why we are working on what we call social closure plans and ensure that there's continued economic growth long after our operations have ceased to exist. Sibanya Stillwater has uh, secured the services of Pakamani, which is a specialist company that provides capacity for SMMEs of any kind. The Pagamani Business Development Program under Sibanya Stillwater, uh, otherwise known as the Startup Program for Marikana, is an incubation program. The program itself, it consists of uh, training and development. It also consists of mentoring, as well as financial assistance to qualifying SMMEs. The intention of the program itself is to capacitate and to grow SMMEs. Sepo Madi Sanyane is one of the two shareholders of ICADOT that is currently on the startup program. We've seen a sustainable growth in the company from where we started with them to where we are now. It's been quite impressive. ICADOT is a 100 black owned company. We are in an engineering industry and we specifically specialize in mechanical work electrical and uh, instrumentation. And then we do maintenance, installation, and uh, repair. I saw this opportunity of a startup pitch program, and then I applied for it. And then Sibanya incubated ICADOT. They teach us the fundamentals of the business managerial skills. The business have improved since I have started with Pagamani. These programs are very important because a lot of young people, né, they've got that burning desire of starting a business, but then they don't have the skills. So this uh, learning program, it gives us the knowledge and uh, the skills on how to approach business ideas. Especially young people must just learn first. Learning is the key. Running a business and also learning at the same time, yo, it's very time consuming. Oh, this hard work is it's, it's very much worth it because I started with nine employees. Now I'm at uh, 32. For me, knowing that I can employ other people, oh, it makes me feel that I have achieved my 
a very beginning goal. I wanted something huge. So I asked myself, what is the huge thing that I want? And I said, if I can change or have impact in the economy, then I would be happy. So yeah, employing people makes me proud. I'd say from high school, I've been using the same line. <laughs> I can do it. And I, I did it. And the thing that I'm most proud of, I'd say it's Ikadot. Having it being successful, I'm so proud of Ikadot. Because I started with nothing. When I sit down and look at from where I come from with Ikadot, I sometimes cry. <laughs> Yeah, and, but I don't show people that I cry. I cry alone. <laughs>